Wow. You know, because you know, usually back then every Friday, right now, I would have started early in the morning kicking back with the boys, drinking, drinking. getting ready for tonight. And I would have got arrested oh, already by then. People usually start like early evening. To, no wonder you like would have been arrested by real now. Real drunk so I could numb my mind, you know what I mean? Numb your so mind then, for what? Today was so cool. We were able to reconnect with my Sudanese boys uh, as this group of youth that are all refugees from South Sudan. We used to have awesome conversations and they used to watch over me making sure I was okay. What would usually happen when I was there a year ago, police used to always come around and they would be quite cooperative and just let these police officers get what they want for them to go on their way. But today, unfortunately, there was a little bit more hostility than usual. Some of the kids were arguing with the cops and it caused a little bit of tension unnecessarily, which led to everyone needing to have to leave the spot. Hey, I want to leave. But Ketone's like, yo, man, it's all good. I want to take you to my favorite spot. As we're walking down, Ketone tells me about his life. Since you've come here, do you prefer Australia more than South Sudan or? Of course, man. Why is that? Oh, it's way safer. It's like paradise here, brother. Really, huh? I mean, I love it, right? I miss it and shit. But, but survival, man. It's all about the next meal. Really, huh? Yeah, you too. You don't think about other things in life. Because like, you're always hungry. <laughs> Why I miss it is because sometimes there's fun times where like, kids, you know, can have fun over nothing, but just yeah. playing at the dirt. It's real simple, everything was simple. No, like whenever I hang out with you guys, yeah. it's real yeah. simple because you guys aren't doing anything. You guys yeah. are just hanging out and talking. It's real simple. So it kind of reminds like, you of like Sometimes it looks intense, doesn't it? Yeah, well to the people like, who don't understand, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. And the loudness is it's the love, you know? Yeah, so, true. The, not faking it. True. Yeah. What's up, Patrice? How you doing? Good, bro. And he tells me that every Friday there's a barbecue that's been run by this group for us boys out of the art center called the Co-Health Arts Generator Group. I, I wanted you guys to come here because this place, it means something to me right now. It know? means something to you? Yeah. What does it mean to you, man? It kind of, it, it replaced my bad habits. It was awesome because it was by the water, the sun was setting, and it felt like my own personal barbershop. And I'm just sitting down one-on-one -on -one with the kid, yeah? He's like, you know, I've started writing music a lot. I like to rap. I've got this group now, we're called the Benchmark Crew. It, it, it's him and their way to help themselves become better human beings as well as help the community, you know? Try to have an out instead of the violence and the crime that they're all used to, now they're trying to bring it out through music. Have you been to jail, Juvie? Yeah, yeah? I, got, I got to Malmesbury. Really? Was it a learning experience for you? Oh, it was a good experience. I learned more in jail. Like, you get to choose what you're interested in. Yeah. So what are you interested in, bro? Uh, when I was there, I was a bit angry at the cops, you know? It was all about reading about politics. I learned about Martin Luther King. I hate authority, you know? That's just me naturally, because where I come from. It's not just that. I learned more into writing and reading. Uh, I guess that's a big reason why you yeah. started doing music. Yeah. yeah that's I understood, you know, since I don't know how to speak when I'm angry, so... My only way to express myself when I'm pissed off is to hit something, you know? Yeah, of course. So I found, I discovered a new way and that's writing it down. So it's kind of like a therapy for me now. It's therapy I'd rather, I'd rather go to the studio and record something, then go see a psychologist or go to the park and drink, you know what I mean? Once you got problems and then you go on a rampage, put liquor on top of that, you're gonna cause some problems, you know? True. And you're gonna affect some people around you. True. Yeah, because a bit I feel kind of guilty in a way, you know, because those were like my teenage years and the kids, you know, they look up to the kids all of them. I remember all the stuff I was doing, the way I was partying. I wasn't setting a good example. Well, when I was doing the bad habit, I, w I didn't like it. I wanted to get out of it, but I couldn't because there was always so much time, like boredom. Because this all comes from boredom, you know. It felt like there wasn't like somebody there. You know? And everybody else that was older than me, it was like, I have to, you know, defeat them to get respect. It wasn't like someone older than me who I look up to, you know? It was, it was messed up, like blackouts and drunk and all that. So I've learned how to control my anger. Like, we actually learned since there's something like this. I'm hoping maybe the other people that are stuck in a bad habit see that there's a different way. Hey, but at the end of the day, that's the, that's the like, the nice part, if I have to make it sound good, you know? Yeah, of course. But the real part is, the reason why I do it, I don't want to get fucked up, I want to survive. And I'm, that's the part I'm really happy about. 
That's why I can't complain about anything. Else. That what? You but don't I don't have scars no more. You don't have scars no more. Yeah, I used to have scars every time. From fighting. I started hating it. So you don't fight anymore? Yeah. Really? No, I don't go. Fuck that. Good for you, bro. Good. Bro, you made me look handsome. <laughs> oh, I've been handsome. Oh, you both been handsome. I've been handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs>